Hi everyone, it's Mary Catherine with the De Quincey branch of the Calcasieu Parish Public Library System. And we are thrilled to partner with the Calcasieu Parish Animal Shelter for the summer. With a theme like Tales and Tales, we just had to plan something with the animal shelter. If you have just a moment, you can go to the Calcasieu Parish Animal Service and Adoption Center at the link shown beside me. There you can learn about the many wonderful services they offer our parish. Many shelters need blankets for their animals. A warm blanket can make a great difference to a frightened or lonely animal. This easy and family-friendly DIY fleece blanket project is a perfect way to lend a helping hand. I'll be happy to walk you through the process. Registered patrons can pick up your blanket kits from the library branch you selected Monday, June 28th through Friday, July 2nd. Once you have completed your blanket, you can return it to your local library and we'll be happy to donate it to the shelter for you. Not registered? No worries. You can still follow this fun tutorial, make your own DIY pet blanket for the special animals in your life and even use it as gifts. At the end of the tutorial, I'll go over some of the key facts and drop off dates. Let's get started. To the fun part of the craft now. In your kit, you're either gonna have the large size blanket and you'll see the dimensions on the screen, or you'll get the medium size, and those dimensions will be on the screen as well. Cut your rectangle to the measurements listed above. Now cut a four inch square from one corner of your fleece. Once you cut one corner, you now have a pattern for the others. Fleece sticks to fleece, so you will not have to tape it down, or you can measure a four inch square from each other corner like I did. When you're cutting, make sure that you're making full and complete cuts with your scissors. This will help keep the edges clean. If they are jagged, no worries. It won't be noticeable and our furry friends won't mind. I use some masking tape as a guideline for this next step. Run a length of tape from corner to corner. This will help make sure all of the fringe is cut to the same length. Now mark one inch spaces and once that is finished, you can make your cuts for the fringe. Just repeat on the other sides. Now we're ready to tie our fringe. Take two strips, place one over the other, pull a strip through the hole, and tighten. Now repeat to make a double knot. Do this on all sides. When you get to a corner, take one piece of fringe and tie it to the opposite one from it, just to make sure that the corner is secure.
All right, guys, thanks so much for following along. If you are registered, you may return your completed blankets to your local library to be donated from Monday, June 28th to Wednesday, July 14th. Watch our Facebook page for pictures of the donation distribution. Thanks so much. We can't wait to see your blankets and thanks for helping out.